a great welcome to Poonam Dua Literature Classes. Hello friends, today we will do one play Who is Afraid of Virginia Woolf which is part of MEG 17 IGNU which is comparatively a new subject. The subject's name is American Drama. This is part of Block 5 Absurd Drama written by Edward L. Let us get acquainted with the basic plot of the play. It is a 1962 play by Edward L. P. and the play sees or considers marriage as a trustworthy institution associated with dryness. Kahi na kahi dryness bhi hoti hai saath mein. At the same time, it also tells about the existential crisis a man is often subjected to in a society where Relations are being progressively concentrated to a high emotional drama. Relationships may existential crisis to hai hi uske saath hi saath ek emotional drama bhi hai. Edward L.B. jo ki ek bahut hi famous American playwright rahe hai. Very famous for writing the zoo story, the sandbox and this one which we are covering today. Who is afraid of Virginia Woolf, 1962. These are the awards won by this famous writer 1967 Pulitzer Prize for Drama, a Delicate Balance 1975 Pulitzer Prize for Drama Seascape and 1994 Pulitzer Prize for Drama Three Tall Women. The play is about a couple George and Martha, I'll say middle-aged couple who find marriage incompatible as they do not lose any opportunity to criticize or insult each other. I'll say uh, who is afraid of Virginia Woolf is probably the most famous and widely studied American play associated with the Theater of Absurd. Theater of Absurd kya hota hai? That we will understand in this video and I'll provide a separate video too to understand the term in detail. You can see the link in description. Edward L.B.'s play is about the dysfunctional and self-destructive marriage between history professor George and his wife Martha. And the play uh, witnesses course of one night only following a party. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? Shadi Gana kabhi aapne sunao nursery rhyme mein. Is gaane se inspire ho kar hamara title rakha gaya hai. Who is afraid of Virginia Woolf? The original title of the play was Exorcism. Shayad aapne kabhi suna hoye ki is play ka original title Exorcism tha. And who is afraid of Virginia Woolf was just a line in the play earlier. Later, L.B., the writer, adopted it as the subtitle of the play Who is afraid of Virginia Woolf? And then sometimes after he decided to make this one the main title and now the play is famous with this title who is afraid of virginia wolf the title is a pun on the song who is afraid of big bad wolf from walt disney's three little pigs three little pigs liya gaya hai gana agar aap chahe to isko search karke aaram se sun sakte hain youtube par it is very melodious and interesting song and the story is also interesting and uh, they big bad wolf ko change karke Virginia wolf kar diya. Martha or George, who are central characters, hai, they repeatedly sing this version of the song throughout the play. Instead of saying who is afraid of big bad wolf, they keep on singing who is afraid of Virginia wolf. Virginia Woolf ne suicide commit kiya tha, ye toh hum sab log jante hain. Around 1962, jab ye play first time perform hua, uh, Edward L.B. wrote to Leonard Woolf. Leonard Woolf, who was Virginia Woolf's husband, the, and asked him, is it okay if I use the name of your late wife in the title? Leonard gave his permission, and when the play came to London, he went to see it with his friend Peggy Ashcroft, and he later wrote to L.B. praising the play. Let us see the events of the play. Don't plot expect mat kariye because this is just an absurd play. George or Martha ki story hai. George is an associate professor of history and Martha is the daughter of the president of the college where George teaches. After they return one day from a faculty party, Martha reveals that she has invited a young married couple she met at the party over for a drink. The guests arrive, Nick, 
and honey nick a biology professor who martha thinks teaches maths and his wife honey as uh, the four drink Ma uh, martha and george start insulting each other with as much possible as much verbal abuse of each other in front of nick and honey and the younger couple feels a little embarrassed and little trapped in all their war all the fight the fight increases so much that john appears with a gun and fires at martha but an umbrella pops out after this scene martha's taunts continue martha ke taane shuru ho jate hain george reacts violently by breaking a bottle nick and honey become increasingly unsettled koi bhi ho jayega and at the end of the act honey runs to the bathroom to vomit having had too much drink so this is where the act 1 fun and games ends act 2 is given the title which is very interesting walpurgis night walpurgis night traditionally is the name of the annual witches meeting satirical way mein iska context hai play mein martha seeks to uh, provoke maximum embarrassment in her husband by dancing suggestively with nick and telling nick and honey that her father stopped george from publishing a novel he had written martha shaadi mein apni power dikhana chahti hai nick aur honey uh, ko bata di hai ki mere father ne george ko ek bekaar sa novel publish karne se roka hai about a boy who murders his parents a book which george keeps on insisting that was autobiographical and it was actually the story of one of his friend but martha does not agree and martha start seducing nick honey declare karti ki she wants to do a partner exchange dance and martha takes the opportunity to dance with nick in a blatant lustful manner george gets fed up when martha continues to insult him Martha George को mock करना continue रखती है this game of insult continues by both, not only by one party, but by both. The two decide that it is time to go full out in their attack on one another. जितना possible और attack कर ही ले आज. Martha makes out with Nick in front of George and George, pretending not to care, goes and tells them, carry on in another room, please. Martha appears alone in the living room and shouts that others should come out from their hiding. Nick bhi unko join karte hain usi waqt doorbell bajti hai and it is George with a bunch of flowers in his, in his hand and the uh, flower says flowers for the dead. George informs Martha that a messenger from Western Union has arrived at the door earlier. with a telegram saying that their son was killed late in the afternoon on a country road with his learner's permit or license in his pocket nick finally realizes that the son is imaginary and george confirms his suspicions they could not have any children and he suggests nick and honey to go home the last few minutes of the play are quite tender soft and emotional george assures martha that things will be better and says a quiet no to her suggestion that they create another child he begins to sing who is afraid of virginia wolf as a sort of lullaby and martha answers i am i am afraid of virginia wolf unable to cope uh, with the disappointing lives and with no real bond real attachment or emotions between them the couple apparently made up a fictional child to help them deal with the harshness of reality yet the bitterness and hatred martha and george have for each other ultimately destroyed this illusion that they have a child the play as i told you ends with george singing who is afraid of virginia wolf and martha answers i am george i am Let us get the viewpoints of Edward L. B. himself. In an interview in Paris Review, L. B. declares the genesis and motto of the play thus: "I was in there having a beer one night and saw who is afraid of Virginia Woolf. Scrawled in soap, I suppose, on this mirror. When I started to write the play, it cropped up in my mind again, 
and of course who is afraid of virginia wolf means who is afraid of the big bad wolf who is afraid of living life without false illusions sabki life mein kuch na kuch false illusions hoti hai according to this writer edward lb and it did strike me as being a rather typical university intellectual joke that let us give it a title who is afraid of virginia wolf instead of who is afraid of big bad wolf the play is an absurd one the term theater of absurd has been coined by martin eslin to refer to post world war two dramatists of diverse interests like beckett samuel beckett ernesto adamov janet and pinter paris becomes the place for popularity where they live and it provided creative thirst to their writings too lb ka play bahut hi classic example hai of absurd writing which probes the modern condition as well specifically couples ki modern condition in absurd theater there is lack of unity and coherence and language is not logical and characters insignificant and as you know the play deals with the problem of incompatibility of george and martha meaninglessness of life is central to the plot of the play they uh, put up a fight for every minute thing in life the protagonists struggle with professional uh, professional frustration despite trying to keep up with the reputation and position in exercise in futility leading to existential crisis too तो दोनों का ही एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस भी चल रहा है अलॉन्ग विद ऑल अदर स्ट्रगल्स दीज आर द बेसिक एब्जर्ड एलिमेंट विच यू कैन मेंशन इन योर एग्जाम द एलिमेंट ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंशियल क्राइसिस ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग्स पॉइंटिंग आउट हाउ लाइफ इज मीनिंगलेस कैरेक्टर्स आर एलिनेटेड फ्रॉम ईच अदर एक दूसरे से बिल्कुल अलग अलग है कोई जुड़ाव नहीं है कोई लगाव नहीं है बींग इंटेग्रल मेंबर्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी दे एस्पायर टू लिव टूगेदर क्योंकि वो सोसाइटी के रूल्स हैं husband wife ek sath rehte hain they aspire to live together but the play does not offer them any respite as they are alienated from each other the theme of this illusionment in the play is prominent as the characters remain away from reality and prefer instead the world of illusions as they create their fake child the elements of tragedy comedy agar aapne kabhi waiting for god of padha ho to tragedy comedy uska to title hi सब टाइटल ही ट्रेजिक कॉमेडी है तो प्ले कहीं ना कहीं ट्रेजिक भी लगता है द वे द इवेंट्स हैपन दे सीम लाइक अ कॉमेडी द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ट्रेजिक कॉमेडी इज फाउंड फ्रीक्वेंटली इन द प्ले कंफर्मिंग टू द एब्सर्डिस्ट स्टैंड ऑफ द प्ले सो दैट इज इट फॉर दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो यू मे जॉइन द क्लासेस टू कवर ऑल द टॉपिक्स इन डिटेल फॉर द सब्जेक्ट कैन क्लिक द लिंक इन डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड गेट कनेक्टेड टू अस फॉर योर एडमिशन Thanks for watching best of luck for exams and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel